Welcome to week 13, Virtual Raising a Reader. Making reading fun. Make the different feeling faces as you read throughout the story. Pause periodically and ask your child questions or allow them to ask you questions. This week's book is entitled The Feelings Book. Will be read by special guests in English and in Spanish. Hey guys, my name is Fran and I'm going to be reading The Feelings Book or El Libro de los Sentimientos by Todd Parr. The Feelings Book, El Libro de los Sentimientos by Todd Parr. Sometimes I feel silly. A veces me siento juguetón. Sometimes I feel cranky. A veces me siento malhumorada. Sometimes I feel scared. A veces siento miedo. Do you ever feel scared? A veces sientes miedo? Why or why not? Por qué o por qué no? Sometimes I feel like standing on my head. A veces siento deseos de pararme en la cabeza. Sometimes I feel like reading a book under the covers. A veces siento deseos de leer un libro en la cama. Sometimes I feel like celebrating my birthday. A veces siento deseos de celebrar mi cumpleaños, even though it's not today, aunque uno sea hoy. Sometimes I feel brave. A veces me siento valiente. Sometimes I feel like looking out the window all day. A veces me siento deseos de mirar la ventana todo el día. What makes you feel brave? ¿Qué te hace a ti sentirte valiente? Sometimes I feel like dancing. A veces siento deseos de bailar. Sometimes I feel like making mud pies. A veces siento deseos de hacer pasteles de lodo. Sometimes I feel like I have a tummy ache. A veces siento que me duele la barriguita. Sometimes I feel like holding hands with a friend. A veces siento deseos de tomar de la mano a un amigo. Sometimes I feel lonely. A veces me siento solo. Sometimes I feel like yelling really loud. A veces siento deseos de gritar muy alto. Sometimes I feel like staying in the bathtub all day. A veces siento deseos de quedarme en la bañera todo el día. Sometimes I feel like trying something new. A veces siento deseos de hacer algo nuevo. Sometimes I feel like dressing up. A veces siento deseos de vestirme elegante. Sometimes I feel like doing nothing. A veces siento que no quiero hacer nada. Sometimes I feel like camping with my dog. A veces siento deseos de acampar con mi perro. Sometimes I feel like crying. A veces siento deseos de llorar. Sometimes I feel like eating pizza for breakfast. A veces siento deseos de comer pizza en el desayuno. Sometimes I feel like kissing a sea lion. A veces siento deseos de besar a un lobo marino. Sometimes I feel like a king. A veces me siento como un rey. No matter how you feel, don't keep your feelings to yourself. Share them with someone you love. Love, Todd. Te sientas como te sientas. No te lo calles. Cuéntaselo a un ser querido. Con cariño, Todd. Who do you share your feelings with? And why? ¿Tú con quién compartes tus sentimientos? ¿Y por qué? The end. El fin. Creating conversation. Have you experienced any of the feelings discussed in the book? What made you feel that way? Do you think it is important to tell people how you feel? Why or why not? What makes you feel happy? Activity time. Draw a picture of how you are feeling. Then show your picture to whomever you would like and tell them about your picture. This activity will help with language development and fine motor skills. Thank you so much for tuning in with us again this week. We would like to thank Fran for being our guest reader this week. Join us next week with another great book and another awesome guest reader. Don't forget to upload any activities to the Anson County Partnership for Children Facebook page. See you later and happy reading.